us and as soon as she stepped out of the car we were bombarded with questions and cameras and flashes and that is not what we agreed upon you s exactly exactly you y yes you guaranteed us privacy and we were not given that so this time we are going to do a run through before we make the appointment okay well i can't i can't guarantee that we're going to show up if there is no secrecy exactly thank you yeah go ahead and make the appointment and we'll do a run through beforehand just to make sure that everything is secure make it under my name please thank you Jaden. yes exactly yep that's perfect and we'll do a run through because you clearly cannot be trusted to secure like this is supposed to be a doctor's appointment like why 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 are there paparazzi even knowing that we're going to be there exactly thank you nope that time is perfect nope yeah that's perfect exactly thank you yep
hairstyles and the makeup inspiration based off of things that you've done recently is nothing too similar obviously last time tmc tried to say that you were repeating your style so i just went and tried to find a couple of things that were similar but still very differentiable so that way if people saw it they would know that it was two different things going on you know um so hair and makeup at 9 a.m francis should be here it's francis who will probably be here about 9 10 to do your makeup and your hair and that you have your podcast reshoot starting at 10 a.m since all of the other information that came out after you shot the podcast obviously we decided that it would be best for you to reshoot that podcast because you did lie quite a bit on the first portion and they agreed not to air the first portion and they actually gave us the footage um they assured us that it was the only footage but people you know lie and you know they did sign an nda for that so obviously if they break that and release that original footage they will be sued of course so, um i doubt that they will do that but we're gonna go ahead and reshoot that podcast and just completely be brutally honest about everything you know because we did lie about quite a bit um so yeah that is at 10 a.m hair makeup at 9 a.m podcast at 10 a.m francis i'm going to actually call him as soon as we're done actually you know, let me call him right now because the schedule is really tight today and we don't need him to be late even though he's typically late every single time he works for that so let me just give him a quick call hold on oh here's your your breakfast is coming out so you can start working on that while i make this quick call for okay Or if it's too late of an appointment that I can't make for 1.30 or 
probably gonna have this scheduled back for later in the day. You do have some free time at about 3 to 6 p.m. Most places, most sales, nail salons do close around that time, so we're probably gonna have to pay someone a little bit extra to be come out like after hours, but for the most part, it should be fine as long as it doesn't run it over into 1.30. The venue, though, is like 30 minutes away, so we're gonna have to leave about 1 to 12.45, so hopefully your nails won't take too long, or else we're gonna have to schedule that for the next free time, which like I said, is between 3 to 6 p.m. You don't have anything to do then. I was kind of trying to keep that open for you, so that way you can have like a nap or something to relax, and we can also have Francis come back, because you do have an Ibens, uh, listening party, an Ibens listening party at 6.30, so I wanted you to be able to get touch-ups and whatnot between that time frame, but if you want to get your nails done between that time frame, that's fine too. You don't have to go to an Ibens listening party, they did invite you, and it would be nice to go because they're actually still wanting to hear back from you on whether or not you're going to get on their new album that they're working on. They're still waiting for an answer for that, so I'm still waiting for you to, oh, you do, you do want to, okay, let me make a note of that. I make a note of that and I'll send an email over to Hybe. I'll send an email over to Hybe letting them know that that is something that you want to pursue. They do have a song in mind and they have a verse open for you and they said that you can write it or whatever you want to do. Okay, yes, yeah, so I'll let them know that that's something that you want to do. Oh, you know what? If you're going to go to the listening party, which you definitely should now that you are wanting to get on their album, then we're going to have to get you fitted for an outfit for that. Yeah, so getting your nails done in that time frame might not work. If you're going to be getting makeup touch-ups and hair touch-ups and then a fitting, that might not work with another. You might have to just wait until tomorrow. Yeah, the schedule's really tight today. Sorry, but, you know, we've got a lot to do with the trip coming up this afternoon that we'll get into in a second, but I'm just going to go ahead and just, okay. And did you want to write the verse, or do you want to see what, you know, Hype does with it, and then send it over to you? Okay, yeah, well, yeah, I'll have them send over what they have. Okay, yeah, we'll have them send over what they have, and that's perfect. That'll really open you up to international markets as well. They have a lot of fans, so that'll really be great for you. Okay. Perfect. Um. Uh, Okay, so an Ibens listening party is at 6.30. You should probably stay for a couple of hours, mingle, get to know the guys, they'll all be there. I think that's what I was told, so you'll get to meet them and, like, you know, get acquainted with them. Uh, but we do have to be back home at the latest. Oh, you can probably stay for maybe, like, no more than an hour, actually, because you have a facial before your flight at 8 p.m. And the facial's gonna take about an hour, and then we need an hour to get to the airport. So you can only stay about an hour, and then you have to come back for your facial at 8 p.m. And then we have to head to the airport by 9 to get you checked in and ready to go for your flight at 10. So you are gonna only have to stay for an hour, but I think that if you just get in, mingle, listen to the album, and then head out, it should be okay. It should be okay. Obviously, you can let the guys know that there's a tight schedule and you would stay later if you could. But unfortunately, you can't because that flight to Paris is at 10 p.m. So you're going to have to be to the airport by 9, no later than 9, like 30. And that's really pushing it because, you know, check it and parking and all that. Well, you don't really have to worry about parking, but still, we got to get you there. So we're going to have to do... You should go to the listening party though, especially if you're gonna be on their out their new albums. So, uh, yeah, definitely. We're just gonna have to get you in and out. We're just gonna have to get you in and out. Yeah. I'm just gonna have to get you in and out. But I think it'll be worth it. And it'll also help you build, you know, fit your relationship with some of the hype staff, you know. Uh, and that's really it for your schedule. That's really nothing else that I got for you. Um, a couple things that I wanted to mention. Drew Barrymore keeps contacting us about having you on our talk show. Is that something? Yeah, no, I didn't. No, I didn't think so. I told her I would ask, but I didn't really think that that was something that we would want to do. Exactly. Yeah, I didn't think so. So I, I'll go ahead and I'll let her know that we are not interested. And in, yeah, no, I didn't think so. I didn't think we were going to be interested. In, I told her, I told her I would think about it and I would let her know. So I'm just going to go ahead and let her know that that's something that we don't want to do. Okay. Is there any talk shows that you're looking at right now? Maybe Kelly Clarkson. Okay. Maybe Kelly Clarkson. Maybe Kelly. Okay. 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 Yeah, we'll, we'll look into that. We'll look into Kelly. There might be a little bit of controversy.
controversy in there, though, saying no to true and saying yes to Kelly, so we'll have to media control that a little bit if we don't want any controversy after everything comes, so we'll just have to, um, do that in a way that's not, you know, controversial. Maybe we'll do Kelly, maybe we'll confirm Kelly first and then, uh, say no to Drew, just so it's no, you know, messiness in the, in the, on the online, but no to Drew, yes to Kelly. Okay, got it. Uh, oh, and also someone by the name of Pete Davidson is asking about a date. Is that something that we're... Oh no, oh we really don't want that. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. That's absolutely yeah, let him know. He's been um he's been having because people get in touch with me for quite some time. Yeah. No, okay, yeah, no, that's fine, yeah. Pete David. I don't even know who that is. Um, okay, yeah, no, we'll we'll look into that. That's a strong strong no. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. I did try and pick up 